S'mores Graham Cracker Cake. In a medium sized bowl, place one and two third cups of graham cracker crumbs, a quarter cup of flour, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Whisk those things together and set this aside. Now in a large bowl, you take a half a cup of vegetable shortening and a cup of sugar. Cream those things together until light and fluffy. Then add in a half a teaspoon of vanilla and three egg yolks. Keep the egg whites, set those aside because you're gonna use those later. Blend that together. And then you'll add three quarters of a cup of milk and the dry graham cracker crumb mixture. A little bit of milk, a little bit of the dry mixture back and forth until it's all combined in about say three or four additions. Blend that and then you're going to take the egg whites that you set aside and you're going to beat those until you get stiff peaks. And I'm going to show you what stiff peaks look like in just a second when I turn the bowl. Basically when you pull up on the egg whites you'll see that they don't flop over. They stay sticking straight up. Then you're going to gently but thoroughly fold in the egg whites into that batter until combined. Then pour it into a well-greased 9 by 13 inch baking dish. Bake it at 350 for about 35 minutes until a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean. Just a little hint here, if you're using glass bakeware, you need sometimes to add a little bit of extra time on there because it seems to take a bit longer. Mine took closer to 40, 45 minutes. Now you're gonna let your cake cool completely and then you're gonna prepare a chocolate topping. That's two cups of chocolate chips and two teaspoons of shortening that I melted and I put it in the microwave until it was melted. Spread it on top of the cooled cake. Now, just an FYI, the original recipe asks for one cup of chocolate chips and a teaspoon of shortening. I doubled it because I thought more chocolate would be better. And I think I've changed my mind on that. I'll talk about that at the end of the video when I do my little review. Put this in the fridge and let it set. Now it's time to make this heavenly frosting, which is just so good. That's a seven ounce container of marshmallow fluff combined with two cups of Cool Whip dessert topping. And just blend it together until it's well combined. And then you're gonna spread it on top of your cake. You can see that chocolate has cooled and set. And then spread it around until it is even. Now you don't have to do this part, but it really does a lot of add a lot to this cake. Take graham crackers, break them in half so you get little kind of rectangles and then dip the corners in chocolate. So you get like a two diamonds, you know, a one chocolate diamond and one plain. Let those harden on wax paper or silicone mat and then you can place them on top of the cake as a garnish. And each square is one serving and it makes it kind of easy to cut. And it looks really, really cute on top of the cake. Now, you know, you can't really use a fork to cut through the graham cracker and the chocolate. So you probably have to pick the cracker off before you eat the cake, but still, I think it still looks awesome. And I probably would do this again if I were to make this cake again. Here's the finished cake. Like I said, it, it's easy to cut because of the portions are already portioned out. As you can see, it slices beautifully. Now I'll talk about that chocolate layer. Now that chocolate layer between the frosting and the cake. Now this particular cake must be refrigerated because of the Cool Whip that's in there. It has to be kept in the fridge and what'll happen is that chocolate layer on top of the cake gets quite hard of course because the cake is cold. So when you put your fork through the cake, you get a lot of resistance with that chocolate layer. If I were to use the one cup of chocolate chips, that layer would have been a little bit thinner and it would be easier to get through with the fork. Now, this particular cake, you keep it refrigerated, covered in the fridge, and it's still really good a couple days later if you don't finish it all in one sitting. The crackers will soften a little bit uh, in the refrigerator, but that's okay because you could probably just cut it through with a fork at that point and you won't have to pick them off. This is a winner. The graham cracker cake is not overly sweet. It goes super well with that chocolate and that frosting is to die for. It is so good. I may use it on other kinds of cake. And of course, who doesn't love graham wafer crackers and chocolate? So it doesn't taste like s'mores really because, you know, it's not hot. But it is really good and my family enjoyed it. Now, if you like this kind of dessert, I have other s'mores related recipes on my channel and I put them on a playlist. I think there's like five or six at this point in time. So if you want to see it, please go check it out. Thanks for watching.